Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in our city of New Zealand. Yes, that's right. And we have a lot on our plate today. So in the last episode, oh my giddy aunt, every single time <laughs> without fail, this time it's our university is going to be burning down. I think we're just going to take a picture of that and then move right along and let our helicopters deal with that while we're talking. <laughs> so we learnt in our last episode that we have a challenge before us. So if we zoom out here, somebody pointed out I've managed to unlock the squares in the shape of a T. Uh, certainly, <laughs> certainly not deliberate. I assure you. Right, so to get more squares unlocked, we need to hit a couple of milestones. Um, so we've just hit big city, 8,000 population, as you can see down here. We're making money. Everything's moving forward. We've unlocked all the squares that we can. Oh, no, we have one more we can unlock. <gasps> How did I miss that? I thought we didn't have another one. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are most certainly going to unlock. So we've got this at the moment. Mm, we could unlock more of this down here or we can do that and unlock more of this over here so we can get this section here which has got lovely couple of little ponds in here little lakes that we could build around it's got some oh amazing rock formations in there which are fantastic so to me this here has to be some sort of park it really does maybe with a few houses dotted around this section at the end, it's sort of this bit here we already have. Or we could come down here and grab all of this. And I'm wondering whether we should go full bore on this island. Because to get another square after that, so that will give us one. Then to get another square after that, we need to go from 8,000, 9,500. Don't get a square to unlock in that one. 15,000. We need the space. Um, to be able to do that. What else did we unlock that I've missed? Liberal arts. Uh, we've got all the liberal arts stuff. More water treatment stuff. Yes, yeah, so there's a few things that we're going to need to do today as well. So before we get to that, I might do a little vote. Uh, what you think? Which one we should up? Uh, which one we should unlock? Grab like the islands here. Grab this one here or this one here. So we'll call that one, two, and three. So let me know in the comments. I mean, we've got four up here. Gives us a bit of land. And that starts heading us towards this section. Hmm. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think uh, below. One, two, three, or four. Today, we need to take care of some needs. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of problem with trash all over the place. Um, and fires. Not much I can do about that. So, with the trash, if we have a look at our trash over here. Garbage processing, not the best because this is emptying out because I want to get rid of it. Uh, these two over here are filling up almost to their max. So then they're sending garbage trucks out to get rid of that. I think they're just taking out the city or something. Uh, and the same with this one. But we can see the little purple dots of where they're going around collecting the trash. Um, and it, they don't collect that much. I bet these two are leaving. Here we go. This guy's coming in. So if we follow him... He's going to come over here, I bet. Yeah, there we go. So, at the minute, he's got 10% load. Oh, look at that. He's already 100%, and he hasn't even done these yet. He's done two, and now he's heading back. Three. Okay, he's just about managed to do three. So, we're not quite keeping up with our demand. So, what I would like to do is redesign this little area here and put, like, a mini industry area... Um, and it can do trash and all sorts of other things. Because one of the other little issues that I noticed, um, outside connections, is for importing. We are importing a lot of goods. We're not making enough goods locally, um, which we can do. And that will help us make even more money. So this little industry area here, which I've actually shrunk a bit because... <laughs> let's get rid of that. We'll leave this guy here. I've shrunk that to get more jobs over in our farm. Um, this is producing our goods, and that is it. So we could do with more of that. Um, and then what I'll probably do is get rid of this, because I've got my eye on this side of the tracks now being a funky cool train station, because our line comes through there. And if we just follow this line, let's put the camera mod back on again, it goes through the tunnel here, comes out the other side, swings along down here, all through this new area that we haven't got yet. 
follow our nose, follow our nose, goes underground, comes out this side, and then it comes past the old abandoned power station, underground, under the sea, comes out here, and that then gives us access to these new islands that we're sort of working our way down. So that would be a fantastic connection between these sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here an industry area, and what we're going to do normal zone like that there we go so this robin district over here is going to be a specialized industry area and we have our farming zone so increased water consumption that's fine increased tax income that is good requires natural resources fertile land so actually they don't bring the crops over they get the crops out of the ground so let's click that on there make that farming there we go make that farming and then if we look at our ground resources i have to come over here for that we have farm there farm there farm there this one ain't really going to do much but that is going to make farm style looking buildings so we're not going to suddenly get a whole load of sort of big chimney stack buildings like that we'll get nice little farm buildings so i'm thinking here we just need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery There we go. So we've got our own little start of an industry. <laughs> what is this car doing here? What is this guy doing? It's almost like a cutscene from a, a new movie coming to a cinema near you. And then it speeds up and he goes flying into the thing and it all explodes. <laughs> I don't know. Who owns this car? Um, can I click on it to see? I can. Sports car. Rosemary Wilson. She's working over here. I know that's where she lives. Oh, she lives there. And she's parked her car all the way over here. Well, Rosemary, you are in for a shock. Like that. So the one going out splits into two. The one coming in. So that's going to do that. And then we want to sort of get some road going out here. Okay, so that's got water to everything, and I think that's okay. We'll connect this back up again once we get a train station in, because I don't have access to the lines yet, so that's fine. Um, we do have a little bit of a need, um, so we'll pop some of these in. Um, I'm just thinking what's going to be the best way to do this. I really would like some more garbage stuff in here first. We don't have access to the waste transfer facilities and things yet. Let's go for another recycling center. What's that costing me? 16,000. I'm going to pop a couple of these in and hopefully... Oh, I can't get that up to there. Yes, we can. There we go. A couple of those should be enough to get us over. Yeah, into the yellow. We're almost there. Yeah, that will do for now. And then let's just pop in some industry and see what we get coming in here. Okay, so we've got some buildings popping in here, which is fine. I quite like the fact that if you build your roads not exactly 90 degree right angles and all that sort of thing that you get, let me show you on here, you get these little zones that cut into each other and you get small zones and wonky shaped zones. And I like that because it actually means that you don't always get tons of buildings next to each other. I mean, these three look quite cool together. I like the way they've turned out. But you'll get these little ones popping in like this. And that is the sort of look 
that I'm hoping we're going to get in this area. Little small buildings popping up here and there, which is nice. So I am at some point going to get rid of this incineration plant when we're on top of our garbage problem. Because I do prefer the recycling centers. But for now, we are going to leave it like that. Now, we do have some things we need to just sort out here. We've got traffic lights on here which we don't need so we're going to do giveaway there giveaway there all the roads coming on um this is probably yeah we'll just do giveaway there and there that's fine this one i'm not going to worry about this one is going to be fine so it's just where it comes onto the main road and just a little road going up here to our water pump uh, we're going to need some more of those at some point and then like i said we can have our rail line going over the top when it is possible and this one here i don't really think we need yeah let's do that there we go dedicated lanes there 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 and there as much as we can excellent so let's leave that growing and then if we could <laughs> my life <laughs> every darn time is this thing empty now building is still empty okay so we are going to remove all of the industry from over here because we want it over in that side uh, i'm going to move my coal power plants and that does mean we're going to have coal over here where we've sort of got farming goods but i think we're going to be okay i should have sort of kept a little area just for these i think we're gonna oh, can i squeeze that one in if we go like right over there because we're gonna end up with a couple of these but there's the other one over here as well. Let's take that. I want that in there next to it. Yeah. That's fine. That's not too bad like that. Uh, what else do we have over here? We have a water, inland water treatment plant. That is going to move as well. At, oh, see, at some point, I do want a dedicated like water inland water treatment plant area. Um, but at the moment, we don't have that. So that is going to go right there. And we're going to hook that up. So once again, that thing may move. There we go. That's fine. You keep going. And then the only thing we've got left... Oh, is that little thing there. Is this thing here, which as soon as it's empty, we're going to get rid of that and repurpose this sort of area here. I want to fit in a train station. And I'm thinking as well, it's going to be a train station... And we're going to have some nice sort of shopping area along here that's going to be the hottest place to come. There we go. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, let's see. How big is our little train station along here? Do we need to remove these roads? Oh, that is so close. That is so close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these nodes where it goes straight along here into that tunnel uh, we'll grab that tunnel one in a bit and i'm gonna go one two like that yeah and that sort of curtain let's hold alt and move that and that should line it up a bit better that should line up a bit better there we go excellent and that's okay little tiny turn coming out of there i mean if we really want to we can go underground and do that yep there we go that's fine and then I think we should be able to pop that in. That will go smack up against the road. Right in the middle here is perfect. Don't think these are going to complain about the noise too much. I think that should be okay. And then we've got the two lines right alongside each other, which is just what I want. So if we now have access to these, uh, we can run that. <laughs> Let's have toggle node snapping. Let's run that out to there. And then we'll run this one out to there. And then that can come in here. And we'll sort that out in a minute. And that can come... I tell you, if we turn off road bending or whatever that is called, that can come in like that. Yes. So let's do this one again. Boink. I want that to go to there. Yeah, there we go. So they can come off there. Just checking if it looks okay. Let's move this tree clump a bit more out of the way. There we go. Yep, so that comes in. Oh, that drops down quite a lot, doesn't it? Why does it do that? Let's use our move it mods. Control H. Say, what? That is not what I meant to do. Move it mods. 
that. Control H, same height as that. There we go. That's actually dropped down a bit lower, that's why. So let's do this over here. Might need to adjust the roads a little bit this side. We'll come to that. Mm, let's just shift that out a bit so it looks a bit better. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. They split and they go down here. Fantastic. So that is access to that there. And while we have our train line, there's a couple of things we need to fix. There's this one over here, which I messed up last time. So if we get our move it mod, actually, if we do this instead to there, there we go. And then we're going to go over the top as a bridge. Or should we just go like that? Yeah, I think that's better. And then we can just use the Move It mod to sort that little underground blue thing out. There we go. That's fine. Yep, that looks like it should be there. And then, of course, we've got the one over here. So now this little industry area, it's going to start getting that sort of yellow industry look. But it's tucked away. So as you're coming down the highway, you sort of almost turn away from it. So it's not always going to be in your face and if you come down the highway the other direction i mean you are looking at it but then you turn the corner and look at all of that so you know i think that's okay and let's see if we can just line this up hmm we might need to just do a little bit of finagling so that's going to stay as a bridge yeah unfortunately we're going to lose some buildings under there unless i do that let's do that and then we can like that and then i'm going to get this move it back a touch then we'll grab that and that go back to up in the air connect that up and what is the height like it's a bit out isn't it so what i'm going to do is is we're going to grab the nose that we've just made so that one that one i'm holding shift as i select all these nodes and then I'm going to do Control H and make them all the same height as that. There we go. So that goes straight through our industrial area. Straight onto there. It's got a little turn at the end, a little curve at the end, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. All we then need to do is move our pillars. So that one's okay. Those two are okay. This pillar here, I think we're just going to have to. Hmm, can I select just the pillar? I can. There we go. So we're going to do that one over there. Then we're going to copy it. Hmm. I've got this road in the way here. I was going to put another one there. But actually, the span from there to there, I think we might just have to go with that. Let's move that over a bit. Yeah, I think we might just have to go with that. I think that's okay. I think that'll work well. Very good, very good. So, how's the fire and stuff going over here? So I'm going to wait for this thing to empty. Then we can get rid of it. And see what we're going to do over here. And just while I think of it, to help workers get up into here, we have this one bus line. And I think it might be a good idea to just bring that up here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Look, that's perfect. So it comes up, drops people off there, and then goes again. I don't think more than one bus stop is going to be worth it i feel like i need to have one over here as well let's do one over here as well there we go excellent 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 to help get some more people in we need a name we've got robin district so farming tea related tuck within the hills whatever takes your fancy let me know in the comments below You know, I actually like the idea of trying to use as much of the green power and water and all that sort of stuff as possible. Um, because I'm looking at this here and thinking, oh, I really didn't want that sort of look for here with the chimney stacks. But of course, we've got our coal power plants over here. Whereas the rest of it, I like the sort of farmy, oh, this place is <laughs> run down. But the farmy sort of look of it all. I don't mind the recycling centres, but yeah, I don't like these up here. Just wondering what other options we have. And at the moment, it's not a huge choice. Um, a hydro power plant, which a lot of people mentioned, I should put up here somewhere. I wasn't quite sure where they meant. Whether they meant, like, here? Like, across here and filled this up? Is that what people meant? 
because we've got the water that runs down there. Because then we possibly could fill it up with that water. Maybe something to think about for the future. Um, we do have... Because what? how much power are we consuming? 110 megawatts. So what would this make? What? 240? Seriously? So we could just replace everything with that. Megawatts, megawatts. Wow. Um, I didn't even think it would be that simple. <laughs> I thought we are going to have to... Save up a lot of money. How much is that going to cost us? 90000 So if we could squeeze that in somewhere. Well, let's just remove our coal power plants then. Um, what's this one over here? That's a yeah, coal power plant. Let's remove all of that. So how would that look? I mean, you know, wherever you put it, it's going to stand out. But... As it stands, I prefer that than to all the chimneys that we had here before. So we're going to go with that. Uh, what does that give us then? Let's have a look. Solar energy technology and investment in the future. That is what I was going for. Production 259. That is brilliant. Let's hook everybody up <laughs> so we don't all uh, get all the complaints. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get all this going again. I think you should all be hooked up. Yeah, there we go. Go on. Go on, you can do it. Yeah, excellent. So we're better... Oh, man, we're just making so much electricity from that. That is nuts. Uh, so I'm going to put my budget down to the appropriate amount. Fantastic. That is really good. So we're, we're going to stick with as much of the green options as we can. I think that's a good idea. And if we're going to go green, let's go green with our water as well. So who wants green water? Hands up, everybody. No, okay. Well, I think you know what I mean. So we've got, for our water, uh, we've got this option here, which is fine. I'm quite happy with the water tower. I think that's green enough. Um, we've got this over here, which is pumping out of there. You know, I mean, it's using some electricity, but, but what we could do is for our sewage. So we've got this that we've just moved over here. Let's move that out of the way. And let's go for the green version of that. So that was this one, which does 120,000 meter cubed a week. And we've got this one here, which does 60,000. So we're going to need two of those. Because we haven't got options for the advanced one yet. So if I go there. And next to it as well. Yeah, that's going to fit into the land okay. We can do a bit of landscaping. Um, let's connect both of those up, and that can connect up to there. And then we're going to get this tool here and just smooth that out just a little bit. Excellent. So that's going to cover our treatment uh, once those two turn on. Yeah, that's okay. That all fits in there. <laughs> Anything more modern than farming? I leave my farming choices alone. There we go. That's better. I think that'll be cool. And then we'll get our excess water... Save it all up for a rainy day. Hmm, don't think that's quite how it works, but <laughs> there we go. And then we just need to manoeuvre this around a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Bit of overgrown trees at the back. Nice. Okay, cool. Excellent. So now we've got green power and green water, and we've got absolutely plenty of it. Right, so we need to get some more people in. And I want to head over here to this little area. Now that we've got our first train line set up over here we can start running people via train and i'm wondering actually we've got that one there right i'd like to fit a train station in here as it's the furthest point and it would connect this area to this area and then eventually to this area over here so i've selected these nodes along here for the train line and i'm just going to move those out the way for a minute we're going to grab our train station and i want it off of this road here that would be perfect there we go very nice very nice and then we're going to have to sort of rebuild this area here so let's use the move it mod again to do that
There we go. I think that works okay. It just sort of slopes off here. And actually, if I got this set up correctly, it would actually connect, which should be good. There we go. Excellent. So it slopes off down there. We're going to have our station here. This one, I might need to just remove some of the trees on the line. Fitting the two bridges here was interesting, but we've managed to slope the road just enough to get under there. I feel like I need to do something with the intersection, uh, with the node controller. Um, if I select that and hold Alt, it's going to get that section. And we can turn on Flatten, and we can do the other way as well. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, that's okay to go a bit smoother. Then it just runs along parallel to this and joins up again. And that would work absolutely fine. So that's two stations. That one there, this one here. And then it's going to run all the way around to over here. Um, as it stands at the moment, we haven't started building here, but let's just have a look. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to have it come off. And this is like one gigantic bridge all the way across there. So if we're going to try and join to this one, at the moment, there's a teeny tiny little segment. This segment here, where we can have it sort of bypass and join. So how about we try and do that then and see what we can fit in here. Yeah, that's fine. That can come over to here, no problem at all. So we're going to set this up to come from there, and then it's going to come all the way around to here, and then it's going to come all the way up to here, and then it's going to run back again. There we go. And I'm doing that even though there's nothing over here yet, because why the heck not? Okay, so that is our train line. Uh, let's find that. We're going to need a name for that. Now, we haven't actually named this sort of area down here. We need some island names, don't we, as well? Hmm. So, let's have a look. I mean, that to me looks like it's going to be East Island, South Island, uh, Southeast, uh, West, uh, Northeast, Southwest, Southwest Island. <laughs> I need some more tea. Um... So I'm going to say East Island to Main Island. We'll just call it that for now. And then later on, we can rename as and when we wish. So let's grab that. So that's going to be Main to East Island line. There we go. That will do. So let's just put in there actually Main Island to East Island. There we go. And then we're going to change the color of that. We'll have a nice sort of green. Why the heck not? How many vehicles is that going to be? Six. Far too many. Let's go. I think three is going to be absolutely plenty. Already people queuing up over here, which is great. So let's check over here our bus routes. We have a bus stop right outside, which is fantastic. I'm just going to change that train line to a slightly different colour. Uh, let's go blue. There we go. So we've got a train line, uh, bus line right outside our train which is great. And then this one over here, we have bus stops right outside our train depot. We can, in fact, move those even closer. Move stop. Move stop. Fantastic. And then as and when we build in this area, we can put bus stops right outside this as well. These are probably going to complain about lack of water and power, but I still believe it will work even though it hasn't got water and power. Nice.
So let's check out the uses of our trains. Yep, lots of people queuing up for that one. I'll check the line information in a minute. We do have intercity trains turned on at the moment. Um, that will change as we move further in our city and end up with some big hub somewhere probably not many people here actually there's more people here than i thought i've moved this line over a bit so it's not intersecting with this little building on the other side which is good so where are these people going then oh they're walking over the top here aren't they to go over there into the city ah oh, fantastic so let's just quickly check out the line information Bum, 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 bum. train to main island to east island yeah lots of passengers which is fantastic and the three trains will perfectly keep up cool beans and then as we expand over here we've got this train station as well brilliant oh and do you know what mm -hmm. over here this guy just leaving this lady just leaving here because this is empty empty building to another facility can we delete this thing? We can finally get rid of that. So we can start thinking of a cool thing to do with this area. Brilliant. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe check out the other video on the screen as well. And thank you very much for your continued support. Have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.